All right, guys, so today's a big day because we are about to visit a huge, huge, important, well, yeah, sure, it's important, and um, very big thing to visit for tourists in Toronto, Canada. <laughs> And we definitely wanted to take Raquel to this place and all of you guys to this place. Mabu High Squad. Today we are heading to. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. We're here in St. Catharines slash Niagara Falls. Mm -hmm. We have a big day up ahead, guys. We're here in St. Catharines at my Tito Lito's place. Yes. Hello, hello. <laughs> you guys have to see his garden. I have to show you guys. It's garden goals. As RJ Garcia, Raquel, my mom, Pinoy. <laughs> By the way, if you're new to the vlogs, welcome to the channel. My name is Mikey oh, yeah. Bustos. And be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this vlog. And hit the subscribe button to join the Mapu High Squad. We will be your daily dose of positive vibes online. We've got lots to visit today. Mm -hmm. But look, check this out. <gasps> Garden goals. Growing up, my Tito Lito and Tita Helen um, had the most beautiful garden always growing up. So picturesque. Whoa. What do you think? Wow. Amazing, right? And yeah. look, Tito Lito's property slopes downwards, just like the Mabuhay Squad property. This is why it looks. See, look at. Okay, walk through here. Look at all of the. Is this Gabi? Nice, right? It's so Instagrammable. Yeah. Look, guys. Look. You could get lost here. See, RJ, this is kind of what I want. Thick. It's like thick and lush. See, he's got like mid-sized shrubs, small trees, large trees, mix of deciduous and boreal, like, I mean, conifers. You've got vining plants here, see? You've got bonsai. It's just everything. You've got hanging plants, ground plants, vegetable garden, wow. It just, there's so much. Oh my God, cuz. Let me take your picture. So nice. <laughs> oh. Yeah, can our garden be like this? Yeah. Of like plants that can grow in the Philippines, of course. Tito Lito, do you have a gardener? Or is this all your hard work? It's all mine. Of wow. Course. Every day I'm here. Every, how many hours do you spend out here? Oh. Tending to all of the these plants as much as I have the time. Wow Well, it really looks like a lot to maintain, but it's so beautiful. What is that? Parda. Parda? Oh, wow. It's a, some kind of bean Parda, do you guys know this? It's sweet my mom says. Okay. Oh, we got tomatoes growing. It's so nice. Look at this. I love this. It's such a awesome place. Wow. Ooh, this makes me so excited to have our own garden. How are we going to design our garden? You know, Mabu High Squad, I've been researching on growing vegetables and plants and crops about permaculture. Have you guys heard of per permaculture? Um, there are people who are creating something called a food forest where you essentially like establish a forest and like the produce like fruits and vegetables and herbs they're kind of seasonal and they kind of just grow wildly it's it's a great concept amazing so we have time mabu high squad we have about a year uh to decide what we're gonna do for the garden but look at this and there's so much we have to do to prepare the soil pala rj we have to get soil tests and all of this tons of compost mulch like project this this kind of stuff Tito Lito provided us props for photos. See this? Well, it's always available. <laughs> I, I can tell lots of people come here to take photos. Look, he gave us hats and stuff. Oh, there's another seat here. I love that you just slowly discover these little random like areas, these little coves where we could just chill and like relax. You know what I mean? Be inspired and write poetry and watch like wild birds fly around. <sighs> This is just wonderful. Mm. And the weather is so great. Beautiful fall morning, Mobu High Squad. Yes. Okay, guys, now we're at my Uncle Benny's place here in St. Catharines. Wow. And look, RJ found an apple tree. Picking apples. This is your dream. Is it yummy? All right. You want one, cuz? Apparently, the way to pick an apple is eye to the sky. See? And it just lets it go. There you go. There's an apple. <laughs> It's good. Who else wants an apple? Eye to the sky. Yes. Oh, this one's not ready. Maybe this one. Eye to the sky. Nope, not ready. Eye to the sky. Nope. Eye to the sky. There we go. This one's ready. Okay. 
guys, look at this. So it's red apples and green apples, but all one tree. They grafted it, meaning they like cut off a branch of one tree and like stuck it onto like the trunk of another so it would fuse and grow as a single tree grafted. it's grafted wow Ooh. it's just so so nice wow. so pretty like when i was living here i these are the things i took for granted like this random beauty and like thing it's a it's an apple tree sounds pretty you know pretty common right but not where we live Ooh, so nice Oh wow, a praying mantis. It, uh, it just flew. There it goes, it's a male. Bye. Another thing I've taken for granted, the beauty of maple trees. See this? What a nice color. Guys, I'd also like you to meet my cousin, Ate Lorraine. Hey, yes. what up? <laughs> it's good to see you again. Oh my God, I miss you, Mikey. I love my little cousin. He's all grown up now, though, but I don't see very often. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, man. My dad yeah. made that. Oh, he, he didn't made finish it, it though. It was supposed okay. to be nice. So that's how he pulled himself. That's totally his spot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He that's says if so... you can carry it, you can have it. My uncle Benny was such a. They used to have a farm, a farm. This is the place of my uncle Benny. Um, but he passed away recently. Sadly, I wasn't able to attend the wake and the burial, but my whole family was was here. Mabuhay well, Squad, I'd like you to meet my Tita Cecilia. Hi. Thank you for letting us visit your beautiful yard. <laughs> and the apples for Apple Boy. Okay, we're back at my Tito Lito's place. We're gonna be eating. Mm. I can't wait. I bet you they grew a lot of the foods. Eventually, we're gonna make our way to the falls, guys. So stay tuned. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Tito Lito. Hey, you're welcome. Wine in the afternoon. Sure. Ooh. And one of the best wines in the world, Niagara wine. Awesome. Guys, cheers. Yes, let's buy ice wine from here. They say it's good, guys. Oh, so good. Mmm. And it's just gonna get better and better over time. <laughs> Good morning, Tito Henry. Good morning, how are you? Okay. Ooh, see that food? I bet he fried a turkey. Okay, Tito Henry. Cheers. Let's do this. Let's do it the Bustos way. Nobody can deny. He did this growing up <laughs> at every family party <laughs> he is the best elvis impersonator ever uh -huh. a few lines of elvis uh -huh. yeah uh -huh. thank you thank you very much my wife priscilla will love this thank you thank you very much <laughs> my dog pinoy we're talking about how he's so spoiled my mom spoils this dog like there's no tomorrow Pinoy, you are the spoiledest. I can relate to this. My parents spoiled me too. Okay, Titolito says mangiare. Mangiamo. <laughs> okay, we gotta leave our glasses. Oh wow, look at this feast. That's the last harvest. This is my talong. You you grew this? Yes. I knew it. I told you guys. <laughs> she would be, we would be eating fresh pro produce. <laughs> huh? From the garden too and this. This is from the garden and this. Wow. Oh my gosh, look at this. Deep fried turkey. See? Deep fried turkey cuz. Mm. And then we got fish down here. Wow. We don't use knives for that. Just, uh, you just use your hands? Yeah. Oh. Tita Helen has a system. Yeah. <laughs> this, like, like a buffet. You yeah. have to have a ticket. Okay. Alright. We're gonna have a chair for you there. Okay, thank you. Oh my gosh, this is so Mm, I can't wait. This is all grown here. Grown here on this property. <gasps> Love that idea. Okay, I'm gonna get some turkey. Wow. Oh my gosh, look at it. He's just tearing at it like a rabid animal. Yes, we don't use knives. No knives, okay. And this is sissy. Oh my... Oh, OMG, yeah. Do you get a turkey? Get the leg. Personally, I feel like the leg's the best. So yeah, take the whole thing. Uh, no. Oh, sorry. You need to take the breast. First the breast. <laughs> 
<laughs> Probably in there. Guys, Tordantano, the Filipino eggplant omelet. <gasps> Whoever thought of the idea of mixing egg with eggplant was a genius. And I got some fish from Vancouver, apparently. Mm. Oh my gosh, guys, this is awesome. Let's try this, the turkey. Yeah, let's try it. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Wow, so good. Mm. Yeah, the turkey is amazing. Fish. Let's try it. Did you understand that? Of course! <laughs> I can understand the Tagalog now. Okay guys, see this? Vegetables. Wow. Sisig. Did you did you see the sisig? Mm. Huh? We bustoses are foodies. My titos, they are like so good at cooking. And don't they say the bustos lineage? Or pam kapampangan? Get some sisig. The area. <gasps> sisig! The area the bustos come from. They're known mm. to be great cooks. Look at this sisig. Sisig made in Canada. I gotta try this. Guys, let's eat the sisig. Mmm. Oh my gosh, yes. Daddy, do you have the daddy joke of the day? Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. What's Jennifer Lopez's uh, favorite dessert? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> favorite I didn't know that. dessert? Yeah, what is it? She got favorite dessert. Okay. What? Jello. <laughs> Guys, tortang talong. Eggplant omelet. Yeah. Filipino style. Are you it's the best. The city, Montreal, downtown? Where are you going? Mm. Up on downtown. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, my dad showing us how he stretches in the morning. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and then what? <laughs> but that's what it is. That's the way. You do that, daddy, every morning? Yes, every day. Oh my. See, I'm still running. Oh. Oh. Every day you do this. About 10 well. times. Okay, there's a system, guys. We all have to pass through here. <laughs> wow, Tita, you composed. Very good. <laughs> this is so funny. Thanks, babe. Thank you, thank you. Tita Helen is so organized. She's got everything thought out. We always have lots of people. So I usually have coffee ready. Okay. Oh, there's already here coffee Cups? station. It's oh, yeah. large, medium, and small. Oh, okay. Wow, thank you. <laughs> oh, wow. It's ready. Tita Helen oh, made that. this. It's halo halo. You, you mix everything. You, you just Pandan buy. Pandan halo halo. Guys, <laughs> we're having halo halo in the fall in Canada. Yeah, you know. Oh, la la. Interesting. You know how you I can't believe we're having halo halo. I use this it's container. Like a cool day. Oh yeah. Zero. Yeah, just a little bit. And uh, thank you. That's and fine. melt. Thank you. That's all. Straight halo halo. So every time I have, it's like having mm. a salad. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, go. Yeah. Because you can. Mm. Oh my god, it is so good. Want. The pandan. Anything. Oh, there's even jackfruit in there. Whatever you like. So good. good. It's so sweet. Yeah. Guys, this is like a very famous Filipino dessert called well, actually, Halo Halo. I used what the, uh, you know how they put it in? Yeah, without sugar, without anything. We're here at a special place. I want to show you, look, here in St. Catharines. This is where my grandma and grandpa were buried. Here, in this spot here. We're here in a cemetery, by the way. Soledad Pestaño. She passed away 2012. And my grandfather, Jacobo Fajardo, passed away in 1998 when I was young. So when my dad's side of the family migrated to Canada, they settled here in St. Catharines. This, it used to be such a small town. And uh, a lot of my dad's family still lives here. Like, they never left. It's a great, great city. Even RJ was saying St. Catharines would be a, a wonderful place to have a retirement. 
spot. So my aunt was buried here. The cousin of my grandma who recently passed away, and my uncle Benny, he was buried here as well. My great grandmother was buried here in this cemetery. It kind of blows my mind, guys. It's like, oh wow, this is like my history. I, I, I feel like I somehow have a tie to this land as well. I mean, it's a little bit ancestral. Like we're talking two generations here that my family's been here in like St. Catharines. This is my Tita Mirna, Their birthday, my dad's that's sister. Wow, she's so special. She's like, she has her own little spot here. Wow, guys, these are grape orchards. See? And right. We're in Niagara on the lake now. Big uh, farm, fruit farm country. Wow, guys, look at that. A huge flock of birds. It's crazy. Oh, those are crows or starlings. Wow. Oh, it's so beautiful. Even though they're invasive. <laughs> guys, look at how big those grapes are. Those are some fat grapes. Wow, vineyards like trip me out. OMG, these houses are cute. Look at the houses. <gasps> They're so nice. So guys, now we're here in downtown Niagara on the lake. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty here. It's so picturesque and quaint. We can find a parking here where you can oh. walk around. Oh, OMG, look at these plants. Oh my god. <laughs> Everything is so like cute and like small town feel. RJ, what city did you say this reminds you of? It reminds me of Adelaide, Australia. I agree. Yeah. It's very like Adelaide. Look at that. Oh, they have Kalesa here too, yeah, guys. <laughs> We're here getting off to take a look at these grapes. Oh, they're just beginning. Ooh, so awesome. Mmm, these look so good, but I bet they're sour right now. All right, guys. One of the biggest things here in St. Catharines, or Niagara, I should say, is this thing standing right before me. Take a look called the smallest chapel in the world. Okay guys, we're photographing the back of it. We need to go in the front. My relatives used to always bring like visiting family here to this. I've seen this so many times growing up. It's small. The living water wayside chapel. Are we allowed to go in? Let's go in. Oh. Oh. You know, it's little. It looks so little from the outside, but there's a considerable amount of room in here. Wow. Come on guys, there's so much room in here. <laughs> See? And then this is where the, the priest stands. Another tourist site here, the Great Floral Clock. And guys, look at this pond. I love it. I want to fit our fish pond to be like this, like a natural pool. Wow guys, I have never seen this. No? No. <laughs> All these years growing up coming here, I've never seen this. This is the whirlpool. Yeah. So this is what, Niagara River? Yeah. And then Niagara it comes River. here into this dead end. And it goes to the other And then side. it goes to the other side. How neat. And the US side. That's the US side right there. So that's US. Yeah. <laughs> New York State. Oh wow. That what a cool geological like People ride in here. Structure. And guys, there are awesome turkey vultures flying around. See that? So cool. They're huge. Look at that wingspan. Chris, what do you think of St. Catharines and Niagara Falls? I love it. It's really chill. Ice cream for this warm, what beautiful day. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Cookies and cream, mm. Ham. vanilla. Mm. Mm, strawberry and a cone. Yeah. Good, right? Strawberry. Guys, look. Oh, that is the. Uh, yeah. Oh the, uh, the <laughs> That's the American. There's another one right there. Hi, squad. We are finally here at the world famous Niagara Falls. Take a look. Look at this guy. What are you doing?